OK, let's move on now to one way that companies are dealing with global warming emissions, and that is carbon offsetting. Firms plan to reach net zero through planting trees or restoring carbon sinks like peatlands. This is so the amount of CO2 absorbed can balance out the amount of CO2 they emit. But is carbon offsetting a viable long-term solution? Tom, what are your thoughts? Is it a good tool to help us reduce emissions? It's a very important tool to have in our toolkit for dealing with uh, climate change, but it's only going to be a useful tool if people believe it's real, the integrity of the offsets. In other words, if you're putting a, a, an atom of carbon into the atmosphere today, you've got to be able to point to somewhere where you're taking an atom out of a, an atom of carbon out of the atmosphere today. You can't somehow borrow from the future. And I think quite a lot of the schemes seem to be drifting into somehow thinking we will, we will put carbon up now and we'll take it out later. And I think that will really uh, 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 not sustain public confidence, not sustain even economic confidence in offsetting. And that will destroy one of the tools we'll need to play a part, not a dominant part, but certainly a part. Michaela, what are your thoughts? Does it work or are carbon offsets a smokescreen effectively, a way of offsetting guilt and saying, well, if we pay, we can carry on doing what we've always done? I think that's absolutely it. I think that I do see that it's a tool in a toolkit, but I don't think it should be the one that we're focusing on. I think that we know what we need to do is actually stop producing as many emissions, that, that should be the priority, not trying to do some sort of creative accounting to make it look like we're not causing as much harm. Because basically what carbon offsets allow a lot of big businesses and um, countries like the UK to do is continue polluting and emitting and continue fossil fuel extraction by saying that you're balancing it out somewhere else. But actually, a lot of these carbon offsets aren't as reliable as they say they are. If you're doing tree planting, if those trees don't end up growing if it, um, to full maturity, if they end up like dying in different ways, and that's not actually going to offset as much carbon as you're saying it is but also there's an important um kind of thing to bring in here around justice because a lot of these carbon offsetting um activities they are kind of like modern day colonialism it's called carbon colonialism and how they go into many um countries all over the world and seize land from indigenous people and grow monoculture of trees this is happening in kenwa in um the sengwe community in kenya at the moment for uk for the uk government's offsetting um kind of uh, strategy and it's really important that we bring awareness to the fact that this offsetting can actually cause a huge amount of harm and in many ways it can also um kind of repeat the same cause the same harm that has caused this crisis in the first place and i think that we need to make sure we're centering justice and i don't think that sometimes offsetting can do that uh, one very brief thought from you tom is it a long-term solution uh it, well, yeah, we're, I suspect we're going to go on needing carbon offset, but Kayla's right to say there are limits to what the, the party can play. We have to scale down investment in fossil fuels at the same time as we're scaling up investment in the uh, renewables, uh, the net zero alternatives. And, and that's a difficult task. We've got to make, you can't just switch off the fossil fuels or we'd all be having the kind of job. Problems Michaela's worried about carbon offsetting costing, costing if we actually use it to destroy people's okay. uh, possibility of living. So we've got to make a good match between those two things, and offsetting will play a role okay. in making uh, that. Tom and Michaela, we are running out of time. I'm going to have to interrupt you. Thank you very much.